context of the operant conditioning theory, we use many everyday terminologies such as the words positive and negative. In everyday context, the word positive could be meaning something good and negative as something bad. However, in the context of the operant conditioning theory, this is not what these words mean. In the context of operant conditioning, the terminology positive stands for adding something and negative stands for removing something. Now keep this in mind as it will help you understand the concepts of reinforcement and punishment even better. Now that we understand the concept of positive and negative in the context of operant conditioning, let's move on to understanding the concept of reinforcement or a reinforcer. A reinforcer can be defined as anything that increases the likelihood that a specific behavior will occur with greater intensity if the reinforcer is paired with that activity. A reinforcer can be a positive reinforcer or a negative reinforcer. A positive reinforcer is a desirable stimulus which is added following an action with an intention to increase the said behavior. Take for example, every time you finish your homework, your mother gives you your favorite treats or candies. In this scenario, the candies are the positive reinforcer that is likely to shape your behavior to finish homework on time every day. Interestingly enough, it has been found that positive reinforcers or positive reinforcement can be used as a learning tool as it is extremely effective. For instance, it has been found that one of the most effective ways to increase achievement in school districts with below average reading scores was to pay children to read, wherein paying acted as a positive reinforcer. Fryer in 2010 found evidence for this. This study showed that when second grade students in Dallas were paid $2 each time they read a book and passed a short quiz about the book, the reading comprehension of these second graders increased significantly. The negative reinforcement or negative reinforcer, on the other hand, is the removal of an undesirable stimulus, which is subtracted or removed following an action with the intention to increase the said behavior. Let's take an example from everyday life. For instance, you dislike getting stuck in traffic on your way to work on a Monday morning. So to avoid the traffic, you wake up early and leave early and thereby you avoid all of that Monday morning rush. Negative reinforcers work to shape and modify behaviours because aversive stimuli tend to involve some type of discomfort, either physical or psychological. Behaviours are negatively reinforced when they allow you to escape from the aversive stimuli that are already present or allow you to completely avoid the aversive stimuli before they happen. Now there are two forms of reinforcers. We have primary reinforcers and secondary reinforcers. A primary reinforcer is any reinforcer that has some form of innate reinforcing quality. This means that the presence of the primary reinforcer by itself is enough for behavior modification in the context of operant conditioning. Some common examples from everyday life of primary reinforcers include food that you enjoy, money or monetary reward of some form, material possessions that you value, and some form of comfort such as sleeping or taking a nap. This is not an exhaustive list, but some of the most common types of primary reinforcers that we have around us in everyday life. Secondary reinforcers, on the other hand, has no inherent value and only has reinforcing qualities when linked with a primary reinforcer. For instance, when one gets a promotion in a job, that by in itself might not be reinforcing. But the fact that makes a job promotion more reinforcing is the salary hike or the primary reinforcer of monetary gains that comes with it. This is therefore an example of a secondary reinforcer. Alright, 
That is the end of today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe to Brain Cyclopedia today, leave a like, share this video with someone you think will benefit from today's content, comment below and leave your feedback or a future video request and press the bell icon to remain updated about new uploads. Follow us on all of our social media sites and join the family. The link of all of these sites are in the description box below. If you liked our content, please consider making a donation to our channel on our buymecoffee.com page. The link of this will be pinned to the comment section as well as in the description box below. See you in our next video.